Alright, we're back guys. Right now, we're fighting Galactus. This is probably the easiest boss fight in this entire game. And you would think with a, um, with a being that can devour our entire planet to use as an energy source, it'll be a lot tougher to beat. But no, he is the easiest boss in the game. I hit these three buttons here. Now it's, a, it's like a little quick time event pretty much. This whole battle is just one bit quick time event. So it's easy just remembering the button inputs at the right time. Kind of like you play some of the old Battle of War games. They're sort of like that too. Uh, I think that was it. Yep. I don't think in the comics he went down that fast himself. I think in the comics at one point, Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four made some deal with him and made some energy device he used to spare Earth or something. It's a, I remember seeing Oh, I got a uh, trophy. Cool. Anyway, yeah. I'll have more gameplay up later. This, uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna check out Storm's new outfit because I unlocked another outfit for her just now. <laughs> Let me see. Change team and let's go check out her new um costume. I have all of Wolverine's costumes. Like all four of them. The ultimate look. Okay, I like that. That's nice. Her retro one's awesome too, man. That's pretty beast. I'm gonna use her ultimate look. I think she looks pretty hot there. <laughs> And um, as you can see, I have Logan's outfits from the crappy modern day. Whoever made that design should be fired. I hate that design on him. <laughs> That's cool. It's classic look. Anybody that knows this, this 90s, you know, yellow and black spandex. <laughs> Somewhat like the 890s cartoon, but not quite. But this is my favorite outfit of his, his ultimate look. And of course, you see the Hulks and Spider-Man symbiote. Okay, let's continue on with our adventure. I'll end the video up to the next cutscene because the next cutscene is pretty, it's pretty awesome. You'll see. Don't know why she can't fly in on the on the hub world, but oh well. Okay, Lockjaw, take us to Earth. Yes. Yeah, they couldn't use this storyline for the upcoming Infinity War th th Avengers film because th 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 it should have had a Doctor Doom as the first main MCU villain besides Thanos. Thanos, th th even Galactus, th th those two should have been used later on in the Marvel movies, but Doctor Doom would have been perfect. Too bad Fox and Marvel can't come together. I mean, my god, they're part of the same comic universe, so. Why can't they all be in the same movie universe? It's stupid to me. <laughs> That's why I'm not a big fan of these companies, these movie companies. Because Fox has no business with the X-Men anymore. They keep screwing up the X-Men movies. Don't get me started on what they did to Apocalypse and how underpowered Storm was. And ugh. I will never watch another live-action movie, X-Men movie ever again unless Marvel Studios are behind it and they're part of the MCU. That's the only time I'll watch another live-action X-Men. Never again. But anyway, this should have used Doom with but he'll be a cool villain to do him right. He screwed him up in the Fantastic Four live-action movies. But at least we got the games like this and the, 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 the comics to read and some of the classic TV shows to watch to, you know. Because I, I don't think the movies will ever ever get it right. They never will. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. As you can see, Doom's powers are